Welcome to the Veil Channel. I'm your host, Twisted Harlem. Without further ado, let's get into it. I have always been fascinated with horror movies, serial killers, the man with the hook. They were so smart, but yet they were caught. I have a story of my own, and I will be telling it this day. This is Sally, a sweet little girl, loving, and her family just adored her. But then something happened, something terrible. It was a nice crisp day. The streets were bustling with business. Sally, I turned to her mother and said, Mother, may I go to the park? Mother said yes. On her way, Sally passed the pond, a boy fishing in the pond, people enjoying the park. A cow had toppled over. Children were waiting for ice cream. But all Sally could think about was that merry-go-round. Oh, how she loved that merry-go-round so much. It meant everything to her. As she entered the park, she could see children playing, sliding, swinging, and having oh so much fun. But Sally knew the only place she ever has fun on her favorite merry-go-round. While Sally was on the merry-go-round having so much fun, a gentleman had approached her and said, Love, would you like me to give you a push? Sally said yes. While Sally and the gentleman were having so much fun on the merry-go-round, the gentleman looked at Sally and said, love, would you like some candy? Boy, would I, said Sally. Could you get me some? Her face lit up. Why, yes, love, I can buy you some candy. But I need to know if you can help me, too. Puzzled, Sally looked at him and said, well, what do you need help with? I need help to find my dog. As Sally helped the gentlemen look, they looked and looked everywhere. The gentleman said, Well, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Sally turned around, and that's when she saw the monster. As it got later and later and later, there was no sign of Sally anywhere. They looked, but her parents <laughs> could not find her. So they went to the police. And the police searched all night, everywhere she had been until the wee early hours of the morning when in the park they found what they were looking for. The gentleman was never caught. Sally was buried in the ground. Her mother lost her mind and died. But I have heard people say that that playground is haunted Haunted with the ghost of Sally. Do you want to see proof? I have the video. If you watch it, if you dare. Alright. <clears throat> I was planning on spending another night here. Um, but, uh, I've had a an overwhelming 
sense of of uh something that uh, I can't really explain. My intuition tells me that I need to leave. I've been sensing threaten, th threatening sensations like I was being stalked and I have I was completely ready to uh, to be here another night which is very disappointing but I follow my intuition and anytime I don't <laughs> anytime I don't I really regret it. Um. <clears throat> I've been sensing threatened. Th threatening sensations like I was being stalked and I have I was completely ready to uh, to be here another night which is very disappointing but I follow my intuition. Anytime I don't. <laughs> Anytime I don't. I really regret it. And I honestly. I never felt this before. I've heard unusual sounds. Just the sounds that are that I haven't heard over the past you know, thirty hours since I've been here. Like I'm I'm definitely being observed. Whoa. But And I'm carrying too much stuff at once because I was planning on when I leave to make two trips. I wasn't planning on taking everything at one time. And talking on the talking on the camera. I heard something earlier and I was coming down this trail, something very unusual up in the trees. I was really strange and it's hard for me to explain what it, what it sounded like, but it was only a moment. I didn't see anything and honestly I haven't seen anything. My, my gut is clearly telling me I gotta leave and I gotta get out before the sun goes down. So, that's why I'm rushing and that's why I'm talking to you to leave my, that sense of it's not dread. Oh, it's, I've had little tastes of that feeling, though. Dread.
and it's not even so much like I feel like I I should leave or like I'm invading something's space or privacy I don't it's not that I don't feel that I need to set this down here for a second <sighs> I just need some water. <clears throat> But when you're out in the woods a lot and you hear odd sounds that just aren't normal and I don't know how to explain that This is the wise tale of Sally, passed down centuries to centuries, generation to generation, mother to daughter, father to son. Sometimes late at night, you can see or hear Sally. Be careful, she may be under your bed. There once was a story that seldom told of a monster from the darkness from a time of old. His fingers were long and his teeth razor sharp, perfect for chewing and ripping children apart. Fear was important, he fed on it so. The more they would fear him, the more he would grow and grow and grow and grow he did with his delightful intention of eating all the kids. Now, as promised, we have the picture of the person or persons or being or creature who has haunted these woods or the monster that did this to Sally is known to be there. So please don't take this as a tale. This is true. This has happened in my family. If you see this being, contact police. Call someone. Do not do not approach. Please.